Okay, I now have extra incentive to finish this temple quickly, because I'm hungry. I need food. Yeah, Final Fantasy X reference. Ah, he's... Wow, they are really persistent. Okay, what's in here? Rupees. Right, and the next chest is... in the same direction. Okay, something weird is going on. No, don't do that. The undead fish are going to get me. Ah. No, up. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking... I'm looking away from the screen when I'm doing this. That's why I'm just going off in the wrong direction sometimes. Oh, this happens to me. I'll just, you know, I'll feel fine and then suddenly hunger will come on. Uh, apparently I have to go back the same way. To get more stuff. Why did I run right into him? I have no idea. Am I on the right floor? No, I am on the wrong floor. I need to be on the floor below. Oh, okay, that makes sense. To get in there... Oh, alright, okay, yeah. To get to the lower floor on this side, you need to have the water flowing into the right place. Alright, so what I need to do... I need to pull the lever for the switch either on the east end at the second floor, east side on the second floor, or west side on the first floor. I can't climb that ivy though. All right, that's not the one I need to press anyway. Okay, I'll try the east side second floor one. Maybe I can get to that. Stupid tech type. Alright, so can I press this switch? Press. You know what I mean. Not press. Pull. Okay, I was worried that I'd miss that jump. Wait a minute, but the water isn't flowing that way. I can't go that way. Why is the... Okay, maybe I don't need the water flowing that way. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Maybe the guide's telling me to go somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, you need to have the water flowing anyway, because that gets this thing spinning. Not sure why it had me go into the central room just to get those rupees. In any case... There are some new rooms a bit that you can access now that the... Now that the thing's spinning, I'm remembering a, uh, I don't know if you guys, maybe I'm older, maybe, maybe this was before most of, whoops, oh, scoop it. Nah. 
Whoops. Yes. Not nah, too late. Anyway, this may have been before most of your guys' time, but... Um... There was a show on called Bill Nye the Science Guy. Maybe some of you saw it. Anyway, there... I thought the funniest episode that I ever saw of that show was... The subject was spinning things. Okay, this dungeon has me going really roundabout route. Or maybe not. You know what? I'm just gonna get this next thing before... Yeah, it'll make more sense just for me to get this. Or maybe not. Maybe I can't get this. Anyway, the funniest episode I remember seeing of that show was the subject was called Spinning Things. And I mean, the show, like, it was real science. It was, like, educational, but it was also very funny the way it was done. I don't think the show's on anymore. It may have been canceled a while ago. It was a PBS show. Okay, you know what? I can't get in there. Not this way. I keep thinking I'm hearing something moving in my room. Alright. Uh, now it would probably be a good idea to go in the other new room that I can access with this thing spinning. Yeah, that's probably how I get into the room I wanted to get into. Alright, so this guide isn't as crazy as I thought. Uh, I think I explained this before, but I'm not actually looking at any pages dealing with the dungeon other than the map. So I'm just seeing, like, the order of rooms and chests. That's all I'm seeing. Come on. Let me eat you. That's better. Like, I can see that there are two chests I need to get that are in this general vicinity. Yeah, they're actually a floor below where I am. Which means I should probably be looking for a way to go down. Like, through this door, maybe? How do you know? It does go down. Oh, this room confuses me. Very easy to get lost in here. But I know that I am looking for two chests. I also know that I can't fight these guys right now. Yeah, there are several rocks in here that you need to blow up with water bombs. How did I get 30 water bombs? I guess it must have just been because I opened a few chests that had them. I find that the spin attack is the best way to take care of these guys. Alright, perhaps there's a chest around here. There are two rooms where you have to go through a bunch of passages underwater. They're both pretty confusing. Okay, here's one of the chests. More money. Okay, I'm glad I got the bigger wallet, because otherwise my wallet would be practically full right now. And I would have to leave a lot of chests behind. You can only get past that current, I believe, when you're wearing iron boots. And more water bombs. Yeah, I basically... I really wish you could move bombs from one bag to another, because I could... Those 30 and 20 bombs, I could have them in the same the same bag, if I could do that. Which means that, you know, I'd have one bag empty that I could... And I wouldn't have wasted those water bombs that I just got. Now that I'm going to need all of them anyway, I'm just saying it would have been a more intelligent way to do things. 
if I'm making any sense here. Okay, here's the room that I couldn't get into before. So what is this room? Okay, that wasn't the right way to do Okay, what you need to do here is you need to look up, I believe. Yeah, you need to look up. And you see a very large frog thing, maybe. Whatever it is, it sounds like it's very disgusting. All right, take out these guys on mass with a spin attack, or a couple of spin attacks. I hope you don't lose too many cards. Okay, when he jumped onto the ceiling, he's going to try to crush you like that. Not sure why I wasn't able to avoid that. Anyway, if he crushes you, you can't really attack him. No, that's not the way to do it. Should have set bomb arrows. That's bad. No more little minions. Okay, I'm losing a lot of hearts here. Partly because none of them are giving me any hearts. None of them is giving me any hearts. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, this time he did not crush me. In fact, he was pretty far off the mark. Oh, where is... Oh, I'm on the wrong end. You don't attack his ass for once. Instead, you attack his tongue. No, oh, except... Pff, too late. That was a fail. That was also a fail. Oh, and he's releasing more stupid minions. I do wish one of them would give me a heart. This is really cheap. I'm gonna die. Okay, apparently he won't, you know, go onto the ceiling until all of his minions are dead. Okay. Maybe I can actually hit him this time. Yep. Now oh, I guess he gives you another chance to hit you, and then if you don't take it, you get minions. For an idea. I guess they never give you arts. There are also don't seem to be any pots around here. Fortunately, I do... No, not Iron Boots. Fortunately, I do have a recovery item. Or two. Come on, select it, please. Thank you. Okay. okay, the music will change to let you know that he's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Going to do that. Ah, I keep missing. Doesn't give you a whole lot of time to hit. What? Oh, of course they start dropping hearts now after I've already used this thing. Potion, true jelly, whatever. Too far. Okay. One more time should be enough. 
Okay, that time I did hit him. Which means instead of him going onto the ceiling, he just sticks out his tongue for you to hit. And now he coughs up a ball of gunk. Which reveals a treasure chest.